after you have defeated all three guardian bosses on the island map, there is one thing left for survivors to do. Added to the game in 2017, the Tech Cave and Overseer Arena is one of the ultimate tests of survivors in Ark. I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to get you through the challenging cave and defeat the Overseer. I am on the Monarchy server with a bunch of other YouTube creators and we're going to do this together. I'm going to share my advice along the way. The Tech Cave itself is extremely hot, plus 60 degrees Celsius. And the Hall of History and Overseer Arena are a freezing minus 20 degrees Celsius. So you need to be adequately prepared. My first tip for this is to bring tech armor and a full set at that. You probably won't use most of the tech armor, but a tech suit gives you 255 cold protection, 208 heat protection, and when you have a full set, you get a plus 225 insulation bonus, both for hot and cold. Even with decent fortitude, you still might need some Kaelian soup or Freya curry to keep you cool and warm. If you're not going to bring a tech suit, I recommend high quality ghillie and high quality fur. There are a few things that are not allowed in the cave. First, you can't use a grapple hook. You can't use the aberration climbing picks. You can't use the tech suit jetpack in the cave, but you can use it in the overseer arena. You can't really use cryopods. You can actually pod up your creature and keep it in your inventory, but you cannot throw out a creature in a cryopod. For Gamma Tech Cave, you'll need the Gamma Boss trophies. Same with Beta and a few Alpha items. And for the Alpha, you need to be a level 100, have all Alpha boss fight trophies, as well as a bunch of the tributes from the Alpha creatures that you've killed in the map. As for what creatures to bring, if you're going with island map specific creatures, I always recommend a Therry army. You can bring Rexes as well, or a combination of both is a really good option too as well. And also, you have to bring a Yudi, it's essential. You can line your creatures up along the trail or build in front of the cave as well and make sure they are all following in a train. This is essential. If you're using creatures from other maps, a shadow main army is a good idea. If you have a female or if you're using the alpha of the pack, you can hide the group. Prior to the fight, it's essential you get all of your behavior and whistle commands on point. Here's my advice for the group. You actually want them all on passive in the cave so that they don't run into the lava. Yep, Prior yep. to the arena, you want your attacking one that you're going to whistle on the boss to be so on I'm just going to make sure I get this turn perfectly. You want the one this, that but... you're riding to be on passive follow and ignore group yeah. whistles because he shoots out lasers that give you the eel stun and you'll get dismounted so you so, want it just to be staying right mm -hmm. next to you so you can jump back on of course if you're captain fat dog you want to bring a packy rhinosaurus i need yeah, there was um, a packy lab. named ferrisinosaurus if, if you can carry the soups you might as well <laughs> another tip is to make sure your dinos have awesome names yeah and, and i want to say i've named the theories grannies and lisa w because they cheer us on a lot and they're in everybody's yeah. streams but i want to thank all of the monarchy supporters for their amazing support in all the streams we love them all all the gifted yeah. memberships yeah. the subs yeah. Yeah. another tip for the order in which you want to take your dinos into the cave is to have the yudis very close to the front at the very front you want something that can take and give damage like a rex or we have stegos with some really high powered shotguns then you want your yudis to actually go in second behind these ones once you activate the terminal you have five minutes for the tech door to open and get all of your creatures through it's important that the ones at the front move down quite far here we go people i'm still clenched from running up the three hill. two, two one. one tech cave <laughs> Open the door! There we go! Dun, dun, dun. I forgot to put my tech helmet on. Promise me after you. Mm. I'm scared. Oh, get guys. ready for the most epic because music you you'll ever hear in art. I don't see a timer. Think oh, there's a easy. timer. There's a timer. Yeah, yeah, you see it once you get in the door. Keep going, Miss V. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna follow Raz just to make sure. You need to make sure that your tech helmet is on and active. It's going to let you see all the threats in the cave, including buried Pelovias. So it says you can bring 10, but we managed to get 11 survivors through the door. And you can have up to 50 teams, but I think that's an excessive amount. What's happening in the back there? It says 11, 8, 10. You find your first group of creatures not too far into the cave. The strategy is to try and lure as many creatures into the lava as possible. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, I'm just, I'm pushing everything to that lava on the right. Yeah. Uh, not not everything's aggro rune, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, no, okay. there they go, there they go. Oh, I, I get dismantled. The Rex is uh, aggroed oh, onto you guys. Yeah. 
Here I want you to learn from our mistakes. If you see a Uteranus in this cave, try and dismount your creature. This is because they can fear raw your creatures into the lava. If you're riding it, you can end up in the lava too. If it's not safe to dismount, you don't have to, but try and run behind your creatures and let them take the damage. Uh oh. Oh, we've got. Oh god, I'm sorry, the lava. Most in the lava as well. I can't see uh, that guy. Uh, uh, take this Yudi down. Uh oh, my, my oh, mine's no. getting fear rolled. Oh no! Stegos, Stegos fear rolls! Oh gosh, okay. Stegos fear rolls! Oh no! Yeah, I've got to take care of those allies before yep. then. I'm fear rolled too. I'm right, fear rolled. I've got Chungus out of the lava. If you get uh, there's something on my map that I can't get, guys. Not you though, Tola, you're in the lava. I might need a hand here, I'm stuck in here. Stego's stuck. How is I'm it stuck. you need fear rod? You. Oh, I'm in the lava. Oh, you shoot the... in the lava. Yeah, me too. That you can get it. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Cap. Kind of Thank you, Cap. I panicked. Oh, that was uh, crazy. Grids, um... Once the five minute timer is done, you'll have a new timer that pops up giving you 55 minutes to finish this tech cave. So in total, you have one hour. Here is why having Stegos is handy, is that with the plates, you're protected from the Pelovia dismounts as well as the Microraptor dismounts. And this is the reason I recommend to bring the Yudi up front, is you can see it's easy to fear all these creatures out of the way. Um, hey. I'm fear oh, the Pelovias. Yeah. yeah, got them. Watch the lava. Yeah, I know. There's a Microraptor ahead that we need to do. I'm fear it. Your left, it. Yeah, fear it. When you're luring creatures into the lava, position yourself so that the lava is between you and the creatures. Shoot them and then they will try and run at you, fall into the lava and die. You can use pheromone darts to get creatures to aggro onto others, but it only seems to work on small creatures. Pheromone darts aren't really working. Uh, I think they only work shoot. on small creatures. Is there any creatures. way to just lure it into yeah, the lava? Yeah, you're shooting a small creature. Just with, yeah, with a normal I'm... shot? I'm just shooting stuff down into the yeah. lava There's a Rex right ahead. You can always use your UD to buff your teammates as well so they take reduced damage. Uh, All right, nice cat. No, Dave and Terrifier are going in. If you have your tech helmet on, you'll be able to see buried Pelovias in the ground. You can use your fear rod to pop them out of the ground so they don't dismount your teammates. You need a little bit more forward, right, Krabby, Pelovia to get those red, so it's aggro. There you go, well done. Well done, Krabby. Krabby. Well done, Krabby. Krabby. That's great. Nice. Pop the Put some points into melee because occasionally you'll have to get involved in the fighting too. Right, the Rex is coming in, it's coming to me. Yeah. Coming. Krabby, I'm helping you out. Give me one sec. There we go. Sorry, you got that knockback, Krabby. Oh, knockback. Yeah. That's I awesome. Guess, yeah. Try your best not to panic and keep calm because accidents will happen. The Rex is coming Rex down. Is coming. The birds are coming down. Okay. You're alright, Raz. If you keep switching your tail, I you'll feel oh, oh, the Rex, the Rex is shot. Me. Nice. Please don't shoot me. Sorry, sorry, Krabby. The cave is full of really narrow bridges and walkways, so it's important to take it slow and be careful. Hog right, the wall corrupted. when you're walking around this. For everyone who hasn't done this before, hog the wall. Dude, like, this, uh, this is dicey. Uh, this is yeah, when most people lose their stuff. I hate yeah. this There's a corner. Micro There's a yep. Micro to follow yep. in front of Can you. Can you fear it, Rory? Yeah, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the lava. lava. Thank you. You're okay, you're okay. Oh, they okay. Got four, they, found, they found the way around. Yeah. All right, if yeah, we so just... everyone, this corner here, what happened to Miss V is that the, go the, right. the team got stuck. You yeah. need to go wide. Make sure you bring plenty of food and several canteens, as well as some med brews. I, I would recommend the yeah, soup just, just for, for water drain. You right, Bob? Yeah, let's just yeah, do it. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at the inside right. Yeah, I couldn't move. Yeah. yeah. Raz is just luring. Oh, Raz, the Rex is there. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling yeah, them all into yeah. the lava. Awesome. There's Arthros coming. Yeah, Raz pulling. is pulling them into the lava. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Raz. There's a Pelovia in the ground on that left side. What? Where? Oh, there's three. Raz, there's three. Stop, stop, stop. If you look ahead, there are three Pelovia just at the top of that bridge. I'm worried that if they come out, they're going to push us in the lava. Where are they? Do you they? want me to try oh, and yeah. fear them? So, Where yeah, we need to tunnel? creep. Okay. Uh, no, you, you see this bridge? Careful with this heaps of stuff on the left. Three in the ground. Crab. Yeah, um, we I'm need to get oh. forwards. Can... Crabby needs to I got to one of them. Or... Yeah. I got one of them for your Wait, 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 no, no, no. Stop, 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 Crabby. You're on, uh, different... you're not with us, Crabby. You're on the no, other side. No, I know, side. but I, I can't reach them from your thing without fear or... oh. oh, no, I'm thinking of a different three, sorry. What? We, I didn't yeah. see them. Yeah, we've got three on this side. I got one of them, two of them are out. Who's getting no, hit? No, that's Cra Krabby's okay. doing, taking yeah. care of those okay. Pelovias on that side. Seeing, I mean, she's seeing if she can Pelovia fear all from across the lava. Yeah, that's a great idea. Just be idea. careful, Krabby. 
No, that might be a good idea, though, to try and fear rule them from over there. That'd be cool. Sure, I mean, could, could we go where Krabby's just been and just go that way instead? That way is clear now. Yeah. I guess so. If you're doing the fight on alpha difficulty, you can almost guarantee that there will be one or two Gigas in this cave. You may find the Giga at the midpoint of the cave or at a point lower down. And there is a guaranteed Giga spawn in front of the main door that leads you to the teleporter. With the recent introduction of the Carcharodontosaurus, these actually share spawns with Gigas. So sometimes you will find one of those where there is a Giga. On the odd occasion, you may be forced to fight the Giga if you have no clear way to lure it into lava. And we're going to see how my teammate Ras Clark does it right here. Rex gone, Giga. We have, I see the Giga. I am looking at the Giga. Order. Okay. Giga time. Not in a great yeah. place, not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. that's oh, in a I'm bad I'm spot. I'm just taking care of a Microraptor. Give me one sec. And oh, God. Oh, God. I've got, I've got a plan. It will work. I promise. Okay. Guys, guys, there's a Microraptor to the left of me. Just be careful. I can't get it. Well, it's going behind the rock. Giggas come in. Yeah, I know. It's, it's in the lava. Oh, don't worry. You got it. Yeah, oh. nice. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. 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 Oh, oh, I see the Giga. Where is it? Yeah. It's to the right. Oh, I see it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, we got Theories to the right. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, I'll um, see him. Yeah, yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to pull the Giga over to the left there. Hang on. Put it into the lava from here. Can we do that from here? It's going to be. be able to. Wait, 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 wait. You got the aloes aggro? Yeah, they, they, yeah they're, they're going down. in. They're in. Right near the Giga. It's okay. Oh, he's in. Yeah. He's in. He's in the lava. Thing. Well done, nice. Or is he on the path? No, he's, he's, on, he's, on, he's on the path. But that's oh. fine. Oh. No, no, no. We've pulled him onto the other left. We've got to go right now, and then we'll pull him over to the other side, and then we'll pull yeah. him down there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Be good to us. Be good to us. So, I did. Yeah, there we go. Oh, There's a load of other things there as well. I'm gone. Many of the corners in this cave take sharp hairpin turns, which can be really tricky when leading a trail of dinos. It's not so bad if you have a bunch of teammates, but if you are a solo player, this can be incredibly stressful, even with your train well organized. If you are leading your Therry train, what you can do is actually walk them off this last cliff part here. Try and hug the left a little bit more than I did. So you want to take your first one off, dismount so you don't take full damage, mount back on, and the rest should follow. Some may go a little far, Occasionally, I've lost one or two in the lava, but they will just essentially miss that narrow hairpin bend and yeet themselves off the cliff and join you on this last walk. The moment you go through this door, the temperature in the next part of the cave drops dramatically. Hey, I'm not ice cubing. Hey. Just, just the tip. Hey. Tech suit. Uh, <laughs> tech suit and Atta, mate. Uh, the Atta, oh, yeah. I've got the Atta on oh, as well. It's okay, I'll take my... Uh... My dude, dad. Oh, oh that yeah, isn't even helping. As you can see, when I cross, I still get an ice cube icon, but my health does not go down too fast at all because of the buffs I have. It's good to have food and med brews on hand just to top your health up if that happens. So in this run through of the tech cave, I learned something new. And that is you can use the teleporter to teleport multiple people and dinosaurs up to the fight. I think yeah. you can teleport twice. You can teleport several you times, yeah. Yeah, yeah if you can teleport twice, right. then we should be good, innit? Hang on, I'm sorry, yeah. I've just run out of stamps. Okay, good. so make sure. So the last person can't go through until some people have teleported, is that correct? Apparently. I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I've, I've never, yeah, I've never tried I've, it. I, I, Normally, I've never, never tried this. Never, oh, never tried this. Oh, I'm still ice cubing. Just remember that if you do have a shoulder pet, that counts as a dino count, so you need to make sure they're taken care of, pot it away, or move to the side. Okay. Right. If we go yeah. through, are, we count, are we counting shoulder pets? Oh, shoulder pets! Otters are on! People oh. have got otters on! Yeah, take otters off. Crap. Mm. You can see here that my tribe mate, Miss Vadams, is outside the teleport area. She's going to teleport a second time with some spare dinos that we have. This is because we have 11 people instead of 10. Rather than rushing down to the arena, will you wait for me so you can yeah. help me bring yeah, them Whatever you course. do, do not yeah, rush yeah, to yeah. the arena because the fight will start and Miss yeah. can't teleport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we're good. Yeah. 
He's over there. Oh, Miss the the hey, hey, V teleported through. One thing is to keep an eye on the clock at the top of the screen. If you have some spare time, you can get Explorer Notes and check out the Halls of History, as it contains many secrets to the art. But you need to be through the main fight doors before the timer hits zero, or you will not make it into the Overseer Arena. So, and we're 100% sure that when that timer hits zero now up here, we're fine. Um, uh, right, we no. need to be well, in the boss room. Yeah. yeah, we need to be within the doors before okay, it hits okay, zero. Okay. And okay. then we don't have, we have an unlimited time for the actual fight. Okay. Oh. If you're in here, the drops oh. are coming down. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is where all the drops Whoa. are coming from. Yeah. This is, yep. This is an explorer cool. note here where I am by the oh, door. Yeah. Well. There. Once you venture further into the Overseer Arena, the fight will trigger with a little animation sequence. Big pillars will shoot down from the walls, and these are going to be your friend in the fight. The Overseer will spawn in minions of defense units and attack drones. Here's a tip from my tribe mate, Miss Vadams, that can be really helpful for some players. I'll Just a practical mine. note for anybody that's got in-game music on, this music for some reason is really loud. <laughs> yeah, it will blow so your So you ears. might want to turn it down just a bit before and you go. What's your, what's your and health? you might want, and, and also, just another note about settings. Um, it, it can get incredibly laggy and damage numbery as well. So if you might want to turn a few settings down, I'm going to turn my shadows down and stuff just now. The next tip is from my amazing teammate Kaya on fire. Going Does in. everybody know how what to expect here? No. no. Everything <laughs> yeah. great. No. Drones on the floor, just go with the flow. in the sky. The sky ones are oh. annoying. You want to shotgun them. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get on that. Uh, the will change into all three bosses. It depends what it fancies. Oh, and here there we, we go. go. You want to whistle all of your boss fight teams onto the Overseer, except for the ones that you're riding. Go. Go! Whistle your ferries out. Right. Go, go, go. All right, he's on. So she, yeah, she right, shield already won't take up. damage. Uh... The Overseer will shoot out laser beams that will stun you off your mount. If you are behind one of these pillars at the time of the laser beam shooting, you won't get dismounted. If you are directly in the laser beam, as you can see here, you will get dismounted. If you're on a larger creature, you may stay in the saddle. If you're on a smaller one, you may end up on the floor. The glowy orbs on the floor are actually element dropped by some of the ads that get. If you're using a tech suit or a tech rifle and run out of element for it, you can pick up these. We need if you need, if you need a break, if you need a pause, if you're freaking Thank out, you. just go behind a pillar. As the UD rider in this fight, it is my job to keep my distance from the Overseer and not get involved in the fight there, but just buff my teammates constantly. Because the Overseer moves around a lot, you need to stay on the move as the teams will follow it and you need to keep them buffed. We're sure this timer's not a concern? Ooh. Um, yeah, 100% sure. Oh, yeah. It yeah. scares the cuck out of me, but apparently, yeah, I'm... Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a little <laughs> nervous. While the Overseer is shielded, it will not take damage, but it's good to whistle your army onto it because the moment those shields drop, you can get some really good damage onto the Overseer. I am trying to pop. So get them hits in, get them hits in. I got a couple. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh, god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. The number of defense units and attack drones can get overwhelming at times. In this fight, we have a dedicated person, and that's Miss Vadams, to take care of them. She's shotgunning from the back of her stego, but it's good to keep an eye on that player because sometimes they can get overwhelmed too. Courage okay, too. right, that's Vino then. Vino is protecting Miss V then. Thank you. And everyone else, back on Overseer. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm actually all right now. It was just, there was like 10 of them, but we- Here we all just hop in to destroy them all. <laughs> keep in mind that it will randomly transform to different bosses and you might need slightly different tactics on how to take on each one. Oh, it's transforming. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what are we going to get? Yeah. Monkey, 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 monkey. Everyone on it. Everyone on it. Over there. Okay. Uh, we're going to get it soon. Where is it? Right. Oh, oh, here we go. The, right. the one with the numbers. Oh, watch out for the rocks, yeah. though. Oh, oh yeah. the rocks. The rocks. Just the rocks. Just the first. Oh, I'm missing a fairy. Absolutely. <laughs> I tell you what, them fairies are getting some hits in <laughs> as it's running. Yeah, they're doing a really good job. They're keeping up with it. Right, with, with Rexies, you can never keep up with it. They're fast, that's, like that's, why, it's, that's yeah. why they're good for this and the, and the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try shooting him with a tech rifle at this stage, just to see oh, what happens. I'm around. interested. What, over here? Hmm? Yeah, when the shield I goes I thought about down. just hopping on flying around in a second, eh? just flying I just, just want to see what happens. This is in fact quite a valid strategy. Many players will fly around with their tech suit, either shotgunning or tech rifling the overseer. 
you do need to watch out for the attack drones. Drago oh, becoming! Oh, Here we right. go. Everyone together, this is the one. As the Overseer takes many forms, it will also take the form of Alpha Dragon. This is the toughest boss on the island, and you'll actually note that because it can change many times, sometimes you have to fight it twice. Therizinos with cakes is a good choice to fight the Overseer for this reason, as they have reduced fire damage, and they can use the cakes to heal. As you can see here, the dragon will set you on fire, but it's blue instead of red. Getting full. He's already dead. Oh yes, well done. done. All right, stay away from the point. Going. Well done, guys. There we go, dragon, dragon down. Yeah. That's the hardest yeah. part. That's done. If you can teleport up extra dinos, a Daedon is really good at helping to heal your creatures as well. Almost down. I got you good, oh, babe? So close, guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Once the fight is over, you'll be treated to a really cool kind of graphic and cutscene coming up. Your survivor's implant will now change and you'll also be able to gain an extra 15 levels for alpha, 10 for beta and 5 for gamma to your character's stats. I hope this guide brings you success in your future overseer fights and if you have found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!